in this tutorial I'm gonna have a look at city group that's very important um, stock as well just type in Google click enter and this is the full name of the stock and it's C is the symbol and um, so I just want to point out if somebody buys right now they'll be paying 66.05 US dollars for one stock it's a billion size form it's a big size form 3.09 percent is the dividend yields any form that is paying dividend that means it's, it's financially very strong because that means after paying the creditors no offense because they still have extra money that extra money pays the shareholders as dividends so even if the dividend yield is less than one percent that is a positive sign because any percentage of dividend even if it's very small that means that company has extra money it's financially strong that's brilliant let's look at when was this founded i'll just go to wikipedia and see when was this founded you can see that in 2000 and it, is, it was founded in 1998 20 years ago and let's see what the people who work here think about this form and so what i'll do is i'll copy that exactly from google type indeed reviews and check out the reviews of the employees and i can see we have 1600 16100 reviews and it's 3.9 star read through the reviews yourself check out the salaries the photos the jobs and the questions and let me have a look at the last row reviews and uh, let's have a look you can see we have 15,000 reviews it's 3.5 star read through the reviews yourself check out the jobs check out the salaries and interview questions the benefits they're giving the photos of the firm as well and check out just the applicants and uh, let's have a look click there click enter and uh, please check out the patents check out the app check out the applicant or assignee because these are people who have full rights of the patents so i can see their patents in 2012 13 12 16 which is a recent patent that's brilliant so any uh, so please check out for recent patents as well because that means they're still innovating and the more patents a firm has the more stronger it is in the market the harder it is to beat that firm that's brilliant so go through the patents yourself it's a big list and uh, let's go to yahoo finance i want to see who the key executives are and what salaries are they getting so i'll just paste this exactly in google and click the nasdaq symbol c and then i'll go to profile and i can see the sector industry and the employees and i can see that we have five key executives but we can only see three salaries two it says not applicable that's very important because we need to know all the salaries of the key executives for it to be transparent for us to build trust so why it's not applicable that's something to re you need to research that why it's not applicable because they should show us five salaries please research the reason behind that and let's go to macro trend and look at some ratios click price ratio price book ratio and paste in uh, that company or letter c and um, if the price book ratio is less than one that means stock is at discount it's a sale if it's more than one that means stock is expensive the higher the number goes the more expensive it gets right now i can see so this might take time to load because it has a lot of data please don't worry about it be patient but it will make your life quite easy Okay, right now I can see that the price book ratio is less than uh, one. That means stock is in stock is at is at discount. It's a sale of thirty five percent. Somebody who buys in August two thousand nineteen, they'll be getting thirty five percent discount. So um, that's brilliant. And uh, somebody who bought in two thousand sixteen September, they got a forty five percent discount. Somebody who bought in two thousand nine June, they got ninety percent discount. And somebody who bought in 2006, they got it uh, 1.75 times more expensive. So they paid $419 to buy something that was $239 worth. So let's have a see, look at other ratios. 
and current ratio i'm looking for if it's less than one that means stock is risky because liabilities are more than assets if it's 1.5 or more than that that means stock is safe it has a good margin of safety So it will take time to load, sometimes it will take time to load because it has a lot of data. Please be patient with it. Right now I can see that it's 1.06 which means that it's a little bit less than 1. 1.5 it means stock is risky. Let's look at the previous trend. Has it ever been 1.5 or more than that? I can see that since 2005 up to now consistently it has been below 1.5 so it's a risky stock let's go go to debt equity ratio i'm looking for 0.5 or less than that for it to be safe this ratio will tell me if the company is mainly operating on debt or equity let's have a look Okay, so it has loaded. I can see that I'm looking for 0.5 or less than that. It is a lot more than 0.5, so it means that that is a lot more than equity. It's a risky stock because the company is mainly operating on debt. So let's look at the previous uh, as well. So I'm looking for 0.5 or less than that. I can see that since 2005 up to now, consistently it has been more than 0.5. So it's a very risky stock because um, you know it's mainly operating on debt. Let's go to return on equity. I'm looking for 8% or more than that for it to be brilliant. Let's have a look. Right now I'm looking for 8% or more than that for it to be brilliant. Let's have a look. It is more than 8%. That's brilliant. Let's look at the previous. It's a minus. So for a short period of time, it's more than 8%. But then it's a minus return. Then it's a positive return. But still it's less than 8%. I'm looking for 8% or more than that. So I would say consistently, you know, 
it's not the return that I'm looking for because I'm looking for 8% more than that. And uh, just recently it has started becoming 8%, but you know, even if it's 8% right now, but at least you need to look for consistency, you know, within five years, recent years. So I can see within five recent years, it's right now it's 8%, then it was minus return, then it was below 8% consistently. So, you know, this is something you have to think about.